Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to find and manage sound settings on iPhone 16 Plus. You can find sound settings in the settings app. So let's go to the settings app, then scroll down to sounds and haptics. And now I'm gonna get you through all of these settings. The first one is silent mode. When it's disabled, your iPhone plays all of the sounds, uh, but when it's enabled, then it will silence ringtones, alerts and system sounds, but will not silence the music, uh, video sounds and alarms. That's how you enable or disable the silent mode. When show in status bar is enabled, then when you enable silent mode it may show on the status bar here then here is the, the ringtone and alerts volume because your iphone has two uh, volume levels the first one is for media like videos and music and the second one is for ringtone and alerts here you can adjust this ringtone volume. When you adjust it, you'll hear a preview of how loud or how quiet it is. You can also uh, enable changing with buttons. When you enable it, now your, vi uh, your <coughs> volume buttons will adjust ringtone and alerts volume, but only when you're not cu currently playing media like music or videos. Because if you're playing media like music or videos, then the volume buttons will change their uh, function and will start changing the volume of the media. So now I'm adjusting the ringtone and alerts, but if I was playing music, uh, then it will change the music volume. Here are haptics and you can choose whether to always play them, only play them in silent mode or not, never play them in silent mode or never play them at all. And then here are different sounds for ringtones and alerts. Um, and to change them just go to, for example, ringtone, then choose a tone you want to set. And you'll always hear a preview of it. I'm gonna choose this one, then click here to go back and you can see it's changed. You can do all uh, for all, uh, that for all of them. I'm gonna set a new male tone, for example, the milestone. Okay, then here are system sounds and haptics and you can go to keyboard feedback to enable keyboard feedbacks, uh, sound feedback or haptic feedback, like that. Then the next thing is lock sound. You can disable or enable it. And the, la the last thing in sounds and system sounds and haptics is system haptics. You can disable or enable them. Then here are headphone audio settings, headphone safety. Here you'll receive notifications if your volume levels on your headphones are too high. And you can also enable reduce loud audio so uh, it will protect your hearing. And here is personalized spatial audio. So if you have headphones that support personalized spatial audio, you can set it up here. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.